is uh, Peter Ogera Mokaya, Dr. Mokaya. They call me Dr. Organic, Dr. Organic sometimes. Uh, I'm in this space of wellness. Uh, I didn't say who I work for. I am currently the uh, CEO of Organic Consumers Alliance, uh, the network that was initially formed in Kenya, but now spread to East Africa, and as uh, indeed a Pan-African presence in 50 countries out of 55 countries in Africa. I do many other things, uh, among others, I sit on the board of uh, the Non-Communicable Diseases Alliance of Kenya and also the Non-Communicable Diseases Board of East Africa and many other uh, uh, committees, boards and portfolios. Uh, thank you for the opportunity again for coming to visit us, Anthony and your team, this farm of uh, uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Wainaina, uh, uh, aptly called uh, Monyaka Meadows Organic Farm uh, that's intended eventually to be a wellness center. A wellness center uh, meaning where we take care of health care as opposed to sick care. The current model of care, my friend, is a sick care model. What as a physician of more than 35 years of public health, epidemiology and nutritional practice is that we want to promote safe diverse, local, healthy foods that are grown by small-scale farmers and consumed by the majority of people. Foods that are, are affordable, foods that are accessible, foods that are acceptable, that are cooked and produced, farmed, shared, using local resources and that are made available in a safe context all the way from production to consumption. All these organic foods, basically as I've said, these are foods that are grown using natural uh, uh, methods that do not contain or include uh, uh, synthetic agrochemicals and are not hybridized to the extent of being GMOs, for example. Really, uh, are the foods that we grow by default in nature that our ancestors, our forefathers, produced, grew, that nourished the soil, the plants, the animals and indeed the human population for millennia until as recently as uh, uh, you know after the second world war when the idea of producing uh, food and supporting the soil using synthetic agrochemicals as when the synthetic fertilizers the agrochemicals uh, that we use for controlling the weeds uh, we use for controlling the pests including the roundups and so on came into being so the distinction between <clears throat> what's called organic food and what's, I mean, organic produce and what's called non-organic produce, especially what is now increasingly be called as genetically modified crops, uh, is a huge distinction in the sense that uh, the organic or agroecologically grown foods are grown without the interference of modern media, uh, not just modern, modern technology, they are grown in harmony and in tandem with nature natural systems, natural ecosystems. On the contrary, <clears throat> what is finally ends up as genetically modified organisms or GMOs, these are foods that are increasingly modified in the lab using technology that is not necessarily in tandem with nature to uh, supposedly improve on the value of the nutrient content uh, and of the resilience of the seeds and the plants grown using those methods is that we believe that this system that was used over millennia is a system of growing food that has three key advantages as opposed to GMOs. One is that it is affordable, is natural, it embraces the natural ecosystem that does not just focus on agricultural produce but focuses on ensuring the balance of the entire ecosystem. Let me explain what this means is that system of food production and consumption that nourishes the soil, the soil microorganisms, such that the soil microorganisms and the soil eco ecosystem is able to attract appropriate nutrients for the needs of the different root systems of the plants. Using available local resources and using technologies that are not external, aka external inputs like synthetic fertilizers, and agrochemicals and pesticides oftentimes which are synthetic and oftentimes 
good people that are toxic. Then this proceeds on to the level of uh, uh, the plants giving these nutrients to the animals. The plants and the animals together, depending on how they put together, are consumed by human beings. So if the nutrients don't have these toxicities and chemicals, these nutrients enable us food that nourishes people. It creates a system of balance of ease as opposed to disease. On the contrary, GMOs have been produced synthetically with lab input to focus on one, one outcome, the outcome of higher yield and more produce. The challenge with this is that this produce sometimes is not in harmony with nature. And secondly, because some of the proteins in the GMO produce are not in sync with nature, they create diverse adverse reactions like allergies, uh, they create uh, adverse reactions like uh, 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 neurological symptoms, and sometimes because they are grown with a lot of toxic chemicals, they have been associated with uh, chronic diseases like cancers, like diabetes, because they create a state of metabolic imbalance. And therefore, key advantages of organic versus GMO is that organic is cheap, is affordable, is natural, is sustainable, is tastier, is more affordable for the majority of the population, uh, and, and takes into consideration the balance of the entire ecosystem. Suppose the GMOs, of course, which while they may increase productivity for a while, they destroy the rest of the ecosystem, starting from human health to plant health to man or animal health, and most importantly, good people, the ecosystem of multiculture, cropping, diversity of nature. Because while GMOs are produced as a monoculture or a one crop production, they end up of running the other diversity of crops, which oftentimes are referred to as weeds and associated with pests. We promote harmony with nature. We promote harmony with the ecosystem. We promote a, a, a kind of farming system that ensures that we mitigate climate change. We improve soil nutrients. We support small scale farmers. We make food affordable, sustainable, and we avoid excessive use of fossil fuels which end up creating uh, um, these issues that are result in the rising of, uh, of climate change and resulting in an increasingly toxic environment.